uh, is reading the tafsir book, uh, whether in Arabic or in English, while lying down or reclining on bed. Permissible? Yes, it is permissible. As a matter of fact, the dhikr, general dhikr, the absolute dhikr, remembrance of Allah, including the recitation of the Qur'an, or making tasbih, etc., is permissible to do it while reclining, while lying down, while on lying down on a side. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Surah Al-Imran. Uh, those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qiyaman while standing, wa while sitting down, wa ala junubihim, while they're reclining on their sides. If you feel comfortable doing so, is it permissible? It is permissible. What about uh, having wudu or ablution? Is it required or necessary to read the tafsir? No, it is not required. It is not required. When I say required, it means it's a must. No, it is not a must. For just touching the Quran, yes. But here, what is the proper etiquette? What's recommended? It is recommended to maintain a state of purity from major and minor impurities while making general dhikr or reciting the Quran or reading in the books of seerah or tafsir or knowledge. Some of the scholars used to make sure that they will have wudu before they quote a hadith. They say, how can I say, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم, And his words will be on my tongue while I'm not in a state of complete purity. That is recommended. This is the proper etiquette. But it is not a must. I hope the answer is clear.